Here we are at the Assyria, possibly one of the most impressive sites in Egypt, possibly the world. This is officially dated to the time of Seti I, which would have been completely roofed over, you know, thousands of tons of stone in this whole construction. And it really is something to behold. Hidden deep in the desert sands of Abydos, approximately 350 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza, stands the Osirion, a monumental structure shrouded in mystery. Its origins, purpose and design have baffled archaeologists and researchers for decades. Unlike the well-known temples of ancient Egypt, the Osirion defies traditional pharaonic architectural norms leading some to believe it could be the product of a much older, technologically advanced civilization. Could this ancient structure hold the key to a forgotten chapter of human history? The first puzzle presented by the Osirian lies in its striking architectural divergence from typical Egyptian temples. While most temples of the Pharaonic era adhere to a linear rectangular layout, the Osirian's design breaks the mold with its unique L-shaped configuration. This anomaly alone raises critical questions about the intentions behind its construction. Was it built for a different purpose than Egypt's standard religious edifices? Or does it reflect the architectural style of an unknown, perhaps much older culture? Adding to the mystery is the Osirian's relationship with the nearby temple of Seti Prius, built during the 19th dynasty. Archaeological evidence suggests that the Osirian predates the Temple of Seti Ras by centuries, if not millennia, implying that the site held significant importance long before the reign of Seti. This ancient structure was already in place when Seti chose to build his temple beside it, as though honoring an ancient relic from a bygone era. What made the Osirian so significant, and why did it attract the attention of the Egyptian kings? The sheer scale of the Osirian is awe-inspiring. The core of the structure is composed of massive rose granite blocks, some of which weigh an astonishing 100 tons. These immense stones were quarried from Aswan, located over 200 miles to the south, a logistical challenge that seems insurmountable given the tools and technology traditionally attributed to the Egyptians of the time. Moving these massive blocks across hundreds of miles of desert, and then Precisely positioning them in a desert location far from the Nile is a feat that defies explanation. Without evidence of advanced machinery, how were these massive stones transported and assembled with such precision? The Osirian's architecture, featuring a sophisticated double-layered roofing system and interlocking wedges, suggests a level of engineering knowledge far beyond what ancient Egypt is known to have possessed. The use of granite, a hard and unforgiving material, only adds to the mystery. Working with granite requires advanced tools and knowledge, skills that, according to historical records, the Egyptians had not yet developed during the early dynastic periods. Another striking feature of the Osirian is its complete lack of Egyptian hieroglyphs or artwork. In contrast to nearly every other Egyptian temple or monument, which are richly decorated with carvings, inscriptions, and illustrations, the Assyrian is eerily bare. Throughout Egypt's history, temples were frequently renovated, with each generation adding new inscriptions and artwork. Even more unusual is the Assyrian's subterranean layout, which is highly uncharacteristic of Egyptian temple architecture. The entire structure lies 15 feet below ground level, leading some researchers to propose that the temple could be far older than its surrounding counterparts. The idea that it predates the build-up of sand and soil that has accumulated over millennia suggests a timeline stretching back to an era before the sands of Egypt's desert even existed in their current form. Water erosion patterns found on the limestone enclosure surrounding the Osirian add yet another layer to the mystery. Some researchers argue that these erosion marks could only have been caused by a much wetter climate, possibly dating the structure back to the end of the last ice age, when the region experienced more rainfall. If true, 
This would place the Osirian's construction over 10,000 years ago, far earlier than the dynastic Egyptian civilization. Perhaps the most intriguing feature of the Osirian is the presence of water within the structure itself. Modern seismic technology has revealed that the visible portion of the Osirian is only the uppermost part of a much larger complex, which extends at least 50 feet below the current floor level. Beneath the surface, seismic tests have indicated the presence of hollow chambers, which have yet to be explored due to the water that continually fills the site. Despite multiple attempts, archaeologists have been unable to drain the water, which seems to replenish at an alarming rate. The source of this water remains unknown, and its continuous flow presents a baffling enigma. Some researchers suggest that the Osirian's complex hydraulic system, which includes channels, basins, and possibly sluices, was designed to control and manipulate water flow within the structure. The precision of these features points to an advanced understanding of hydraulic engineering, something not typically associated with ancient Egyptian technology. While the Egyptians were known for their use of irrigation canals and basins for agriculture, the Osirian's water management techniques are far more sophisticated. The mysteries of the Osirian continue to deepen as researchers attempt to unlock its secrets. The constant replenishment of water within the structure defies explanation. James Westerman, a renowned archaeologist and historian, has spent decades studying the Osirian. His efforts to pump out the water from the structure have been met with frustration. Even with a pump capable of removing 500 gallons of water per minute, the water level continues to rise, seemingly replenishing itself faster than it can be removed. Westerman's words capture the perplexity of the situation. Water is emerging from inside the structure. This shouldn't be happening, especially in the desert. Something strange is going on here. In 2023, Westerman's team employed advanced technology to analyze the water within the Osirian, measuring its pressure, temperature, conductivity, and chemical composition. The results were astounding. The water in the Osirian was found to have a unique chemical profile, different from the surrounding wells and aquifers in the area. Westerman's research suggested that the water was being forced up through the structure, almost as though it were being propelled by some unknown force. The water's chemical composition and isotopic profile indicated that it did not originate from the nearby Nile River or local aquifers. Where, then, is this water coming from? The Osirian's water behaves more like that of a geyser, but without the typical signs of volcanic activity. Is there an underground spring or reservoir beneath the structure, or could the water be flowing from a deeper, as yet undiscovered source? One of the most intriguing aspects of the water is its unique properties. Westerman conducted hydrologic studies and found that the water within the Osirian was drinkable after filtration. Over time, Westerman began drinking the water regularly, and he noticed something extraordinary. His eyesight began to improve. A lifelong sufferer of nearsightedness, Westerman eventually no longer needed glasses, a fact that was confirmed by an eye test. Could the water from the Osirian possess healing properties? Westerman believes so and continues to drink the water, attributing his improved vision to its mysterious qualities. Yet another anomaly is the temperature of the water. The water outside the Osirian measures a consistent 16.9 degrees Celsius, but the water inside the structure is significantly warmer, measuring 23.8 degrees Celsius. This temperature difference defies the second law of thermodynamics, which states that heat cannot spontaneously transfer from a cooler to a warmer body. Something within the Osirian is heating the water, but no one knows what it is or how it is happening. As researchers continue to study the Osirian, its true scale and purpose remain elusive. What is visible today may only be the tip of the iceberg. The structure extends far beneath the surface, with hidden chambers still unexplored due to the constant flow of water. Could these underground chambers hold more secrets about the origins of the Osirian and its builders? As we probe deeper into the Osirian's mysteries, 
we are left with more questions than answers. One thing is certain. This ancient structure is far older and more complex than we ever imagined, and it may hold the key to understanding a lost chapter of human history. If you were captivated by today's video, then you're absolutely going to love our next adventure. We're diving even deeper into the mysteries of ancient Egypt with Egyptologists discovered an ancient tunnel revealing tombs and something you'd never expect. Beneath Giza's sands, a groundbreaking discovery rewrites ancient Egyptian history. Egyptologists unearth the water-filled tunnel, the Osiris shaft, predating the pyramids. What secrets does this ancient passage hold? What unexpected wonders lie within? There's something called the Osiris Shaft, which is located directly under the causeway between the Sphinx and the Second Pyramid. It goes about 100 feet underground. It's carved out of the limestone bedrock. It's the creepiest place I've ever been in my life. It's disturbing. So it's three different shafts and you go down and here's where it gets, this is the crazy part. When you get to the third level, which is completely dark and freaky, there was a side tunnel. Zahi Awas himself, there was a documentary, went down there and he showed, he's standing in front of this tunnel that went sideways. And he says, it's yet to be explored. And we, I, I don't know what's down there, but Joe, they've since sealed it up. It's like cinder blocks, they sealed it up. What? Yes. There are things that have gone underground in Egypt that for whatever reason, Joe, is just off limits to the public. 